Originally written and produced in 1988 by exploitation director Fred Olin Ray, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers is a unique example of combining campy 80s cheese, sleaze, and splatter trash to make one hell of a fun movie. Featuring a variety of shameless characters with no sense of self-respect, who graciously encourage Owen Ray's lack of morality. And just in case you're unfamiliar with anything he might have released in the past, Fred Owen Ray is often recognized by fans as a cult director with a smash mouth passion for independent filmmaking. He's been writing, directing, and producing low-budget films since the 70s, with well over 100 feature credits dating all the way to 2018. And 99% of the time, the title of a Fred Owen Ray movie is a good indication of exactly what you're getting. As proven by some of his older films, including Bikini Girls from the Lost Planet, The Teeny Weeny Bikini Squad, Bikini Pirates, Ghost in a Teeny Bikini, Busty Housewives of Beverly Hills, and Scouts. His genuine taste for filth and pure exploitation can be seen throughout a number of his films, and Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers is no different. The story begins with an introduction from Jack, played by the hysterical Jay Richardson, a campy private eye hired to look into the disappearance of a young girl named Samantha, played by the legendary 80s screen queen Leanna Quigley. After following a few leads, he eventually spots Samantha dancing topless at a seedy nightclub, which happens to be the front for a cult of bloodthirsty hookers. Working under the guidance of a lunatic simply known as The Stranger, played by Texas Chainsaw Massacre's Gunnar Hansen. His seductive minions venture out into the night, adding to the body count by ripping and hacking their prey into pieces. As expected, Not Too Bright Jack is easily seduced by the cult and becomes the victim of their latest sacrifice, while trying his best to rescue Samantha in the process. And unlike a lot of the reviews I've done so far, this is not a serious horror film. It's not scary in the slightest and the gore is deliberately comical. It's the sort of film that will happily have one of its actresses pose nude before bashing her photographer's head in with a baseball bat and cutting him up with a chainsaw. But despite wearing close to nothing for most of the film, the women are clearly the ones in charge of the story. Starting with actress Michelle Bauer, who plays Mercedes, one of the lead hookers that starts the movie by taking a local John back to her apartment just to end up gutting him with a chainsaw in the middle of a lap dance. And unlike your standard indie slasher, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers has a lot more to offer than one kill after the next. It's fast paced, it hooks you from the start, and keeps you laughing throughout the course of the film. There's plenty of blood, babes, chainsaws, and shameless amounts of nudity to make this one of the better Owen Ray movies to come out of the late 80s. Shot on a budget of 50 grand in a little under a week's time, Ray was able to prove that you didn't need a lot of money to produce a quality film. Sure, there's dirt, dust, debris, grain, and scratches all throughout the print, but this only adds to the grindhouse factor of the movie that really takes you back to the good old drive-in days. Personally, I thought the damage look worked for the low-budget feel of the film. Throw in some hookers, a few chainsaws, some of Jack's unpredictable puns, and you got the perfect mixture for an 80s slapstick horror comedy. Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers is truly outrageous, a ridiculously goofy spectacle that lives up to the promise of its name and utilizes its brief 75 minute running time as much as possible. So for those of you expecting a serious, graphically violent tale of sleeves will no doubt be disappointed, but that's just because it's not that type of film. It's a screwball comedy with plenty of nudity and unconvincing bloodshed. A beer and buddies late 80s cable experience packed with all of the essentials of an awesomely bad horror movie. It's a perfect example that brought eager-eyed fans into the cult movie fold. A raunchy extravaganza, sexless nudity, and dopey violence presented with a tongue so firmly in cheek you'd swear it was poking out the other side. It's cheap, schlocky exploitation that never takes itself seriously. And the combination of Jay Richardson and Leanna Quigley brings heaping some charm to this trashy flick. 